Hello guys, welcome to Angry Birds team, and today we're actually not looking at a vanilla Minecraft mod, and um, that's just because, well, there's two reasons for that, guys. One, there hasn't been any, really any, vanilla Minecraft mods or only one command modules for Minecraft 1.9 yet, and I'm sure that's just because we're, like, rec um, we're currently in the Minecraft 1.9 snapshot, but um, also because I'm kind of lazy to go look around um, for that, guys, because I've been really, really busy with, like, things like school and like band trips and a bunch of other stuff you know and so school comes first in my life guys I know I really love YouTube and I really love to get YouTube videos out to you guys but you know school comes first and I gotta get all that stuff done and um, published out to you guys but now on that note I decided you know um, instead of just not making a video today and you know tweeting out something that probably nobody would see because I have zero fo followers on Twitter which you go should go uh, follow me on if you haven't already it's you know, at Angry Birds team go follow me but um yeah yeah, um, but anyways, I figured out that, you know, there has been a lot of changes to how a lot of things work in the new Minecraft 1.9 snapshots, and I would, th I just made this, I would just make this video to show you guys some of the new changes and a sort of concept I idea that I have for pets. Yes, you can actually have pets in vanilla Minecraft, and I don't mean like, you know, teleporting a mob to a wolf 100 times per se second with the new repeating command blocks. I mean something totally different with the new um, with the new like ways entities work and I'll show you guys that right now and so now um, if you haven't if you don't know this already you can enter this command into a command block or whatever which is you know a skeleton trap um, entity horse or whatever you spawn that in and that will actually give you four count them four new skeleton horsemen and so yes these will naturally spawn in your world whenever there's a thunderstorm and they have like a some sort of rare chance of spawning but yeah as you can see it's a skeleton riding a skeleton horse and the skeleton has some armor and you know some bows and stuff like that right there and um, it's really cool because um, there has been a new update to how um, how like um, entity riders work or I can't, can't think of it right now um, jockeys that, thank you guys sorry um, it, it's really late night guys but yeah jo there's been a new update to how jockeys actually work and now um, it used to be when you know you summon a mob riding a mob that you know only the mob that was on the bottom say like this horse would be, um, be in control so yeah if you were to spawn this in minecraft 1.8 um the skeleton would have like no control where the mob would go it would only be the horse but now that has been balanced in the new minecraft 1.9 snapshot so now both mobs have a little bit control about the entity ai and um and the cool thing about this is that i found this command uh actually um the lapis demon found this where you actually um if you f summon a bat on top of a witch just like this, the witch will actually become peaceful, sort of. So let me just go into game here, hold on, game mode S, and as you can see, the witch will, like, well, oh jeez, these skeletons will start attacking me, but um, as you can see, the witch will not attack me, because, as you can see, the witch will just come really close to me, but will not attack me. That's because the um, bad AI is dead. Oh god, no, no, never mind. Now the bad, and now the bad AI is dead. Oh, now I'm poisoned. Oh jeez, this is not good, guys. Oh, um, I'm just gonna put I'm gonna switch to peaceful, but I'm like you saw right there guys the um witch was not killing me and that was um that was just because the um witch AI was being taken over by the bat AI in terms of oh jeez oh jeez oh jeez that was a horrible idea why did I do that oh my gosh but anyways the um witch AI was um, being taken over by the bat AI and so now the witch was only were controlling the movement and where the entity went where the bat was controlling whether to attack or not and so yeah you can actually attack the witch and it was really cool but um yeah and so that got me thinking what if you could summon a wolf on top of a smaller mob and get a sort of pet and um and I try this out with a couple of mobs right, right here. You can see it with the spider. But yeah, I'm the not, a non. It only works with non-hostile mobs. So if I spawn like say a chicken, um, as you can see, um, I can like flip the switch right here, and you know it's the wolf on top of a chicken. Of course, you can you know edit that to make the wolf invisible and stuff like that. But yeah, look at this, guys. If I go backwards, the wolf will actually follow me. And you know if the wolf was invisible, it'd just be like you know a chicken that was following me. And th I thought you know that'd be pretty cool. Cause what if you could make your own 
own custom pets in vanilla Minecraft, and that's where I got this idea. It's basically just a simple summon command that you could literally use in 1.8, um, but it would be a little more finicky than it would be in the new Minecraft 1.9 snapshot. So yeah, you'd just do summon wolf, um, you know, like above the command block or relative to wherever you that you want to spawn it. Um, then owner. This is important because um, this is the tag that allows the wolf to follow you. So uh, the owner, and then not Angry Birds team. That would be your name, and then riding ID and whatever mob you want to be your pet. And um, I noticed that some other mobs like um bats, for example, um bats actually don't work because they are just really finicky. Bats are like bats suck. Like as you can see, look at that. The wolf's trying to follow me, but um the bat is just taking over because bats bats rule everything, guys. Bats are just really, really, really crazy mobs. Like, oh my gosh, I can't even one-hit them anymore. Like, oh my gosh, the new combat balance and stuff. Oh, jeez, now you just hurt my wolf. Oh my gosh, I feel mean. But, um, yeah, let me try, um, I know I tried it with, like, a few other mobs, like Ocelots, and, um, uh, oh wait, let me try a rabbit. I don't think I tried a rabbit yet. Uh, let me see. Let me try to spawn Mr. Rabbit. Um, let's see. Yeah, the rabbit will follow you, just like all the other little pet mobs right there. And, um, yeah, so that was my idea for a new um, pets in vanilla Minecraft. Of course, uh, of course, you know you can see the wolves, but you know you can edit that with some um, invisibility potions or invisibility commands or whatever else you want to figure out. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and um, I'm sorry that you know none of my videos are gonna get out on time or anything else like that. Um, just that I've been really busy with school and uh, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, favorite, subscribe. This is Nathan from the Angry Birds team. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, y'all. Throw them balls. Throw them. Oh, oh, I hit, I hit three people. Oh my gosh, I literally got three hits up in there, guys. Did you see that? Three hits just out of the park. Cause boom, boom, boom. Three, three. Like, oh my gosh, that was aw. Oh, whoa, that.